start today I'm going to start from scratch I got to make another lawnmower battery and I only got one left and this one has some dead cells in the center so it's going to come apart well I like to uh, uh, well I like to check all these first to see which is the good one so I started I started at the end there and looked like most of them are good Trying to get this down with one hand is a problem, so. 322 is basically what I got. Which is pretty good. It's been sitting here for a while. I got them backwards on there. Same thing. So I've determined that the last pack here is the bad ones. 269. Now I've charged this up. Let it sit. It's been months and months now. But, uh. Most of them are all right. 321 nominal voltage, except this end pack. So I've marked it. So when I take it apart, I'll know not to use these ones down here. <laughs> Usually they're in the center, and the center one's a little bit off, but not much. So anyway, I've deemed this one to be a not as good a pack, so I'm going to take it apart. So first, I start by um, taking off this outside insulator so I just start one corner and then then you can rip it off pretty well it's pretty tough you know it's on there especially with one hand for an old bugger yeah I ripped it a little bit I don't like ripping it because I like to keep them to use again okay I'll rip it off and come back to you I only got handheld camera There's uh, screws in there, Phillips. They go straight through to the other side, so you can take those screws out. And then the plastic sides will pop off. I've got the two handed job again. I don't know why I even bother. Okay, so I got all the screws out that hold the two sides of the packs together. Then I best take out these top screws here and this little tab you see is held in there so you've got to pull those tabs out to take the sides off okay so I got them all disconnected from their little holders there and I just pushed them down just so that they can't hook up to this all these wires here are connected inside so temperature wires temperature sensors anyway now we should be able to pop the sides off i think if i remember right i'll tell you in a minute <laughs> yeah that one was pretty tough but i think i think she all went well <clears throat> i just use a paint stick wooden paint stick so it won't short and I try and pry each one up and go slow and then keep pushing these down. And uh, eventually it comes. I bent a few of them, but it doesn't matter because I'm not looking for pieces of this one. I don't, I don't think. I might make 12 volt out of this one. Or 12 volt pack, but I'm looking for singles for my lawnmower, lawnmower battery. So I'll just keep plunking away. I'll take the other side off now. Okay, there's one little thing I didn't tell you. Right down here there's a little wee tab in that hole. And that tab fits over top of the plastic spacer. This plastic spacer so it's locked in there. Now, I might want to use these again so I didn't just bust the tab off. This hand's even trickier. It has a couple of them, and they're locked right into the to this uh, insulator. So you got to take a little screwdriver and pop them off. Only place I use metal 
is go in there and pop those plastics off of the tab. Thanks. Okay, so this is the bad end. I think I'll take it apart first, just to, for one reason, to see what it is. Why it's bad. Maybe I can find out why. I always want to know that, because I'm trying to understand these packs more than anything. Now, the way I'm going to do this, I'm just going to take and cut this plastic off real easy. And then I'm going to snip each one of these so that just pops off. And then I can take one battery off at a time because that's the way I want to do it or what I want it for. If I wanted to make 12 volt pack, then I would have to cut, cut the plastic and then cut the metal on the other side. But I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. I have a couple 12 volt packs and I need, I need what about 48, I need 96 batteries. So I need this whole pack to do two lawnmowers. Anyway, we'll see where we go. Thanks for watching. Okay, so like I said, I just cut that plastic thing with my jackknife real easy. And then I just moved it around here, bent it around. Now I'm just going to take and snip the centers out of here. See that little bit? I'll snip that off. I'll do that to all the batteries on both sides and uh, then they're free. Once I snip all those positive ends off on each side, it just comes right out of there real easy. Now this gives me, I just have to cut the plastic on, on this one. And, uh, and it's free, right? Real easy. Cutting the metal is not that easy. Now over here, I can do what I want here. So I'm not sure if I'll try and snip them and save that. Because it's makes it easier for me to solder to because I don't have a I don't have an electric soldering uh, weapon there I just have my soldering gun so I have to hand solder them so I like to leave the tabs on because they solder easier than one of the battery anyway we'll have a look see what's going on here thanks